Welcome everyone to Are You Ready? Armadillo, episode 4. In the last three episodes, we've gone over Bandos, Ceratomen, and Zamorak. If you are planning on going to any of these bosses at God Wars, which is now released, well, planned to be released on the 17th of October, I do recommend you go check those out. But in this video, we're going to go over Armadillo. I know there's been a lot of people asking me to put this out, and I've just got time to put it out, so let's get into it. As always, first, the requirements. So as you can see here, you do need 70 range to get in. Now this is to use the grapple to get across the sling, I guess. Uh, I should be queuing some like Indiana Jones music or something right now. And then I do recommend you have 70 defense so you can actually wear proper gear and whatnot. You could wear black D-hard, but in this guide, or not particularly guide, it's a pro video, I'm going to go over what you really should be using. So you do need 70 hit points, or my recommended, and 70 magic is also definitely a must. Do not forget a mithril grapple. For the requirements I do recommend is to have a 90 range, 90 defense, 90 hit points, and 90 magic. Now if you're wondering, you can't actually melee anything in the armadillo encounter, I guess unless you're killing your Zami kill account in there, but I don't know what you're doing for doing that. So yeah, the defense is just for melee defense. The magic actually helps on your defense, so apparently two thirds of your magic defense comes out of your magic level. So having your magic up as high as you can is definitely a bonus. Hit points is self-explanatory, <laughs> same as ranged. Let's get into the gear setups. So the main setup you're going to see people using is this. This is the base range one, as you've seen in the other ones. Uh, I probably will be using a Ring of Life for the first times at Armadillo. I know that I said I was going to get an Arch Ring, but I still don't have one, and they've gone up because they're imbued. So I will be getting one of them eventually, but I think I'll Ring of Life on the release just to uh, test the servers, I guess, because I don't want it to DC, and I don't, I don't know. If I DC, I might get lucky, and the Ring of Life will save me. So what you need is magic defense. You pray ranged while you're in the boss room because you just create a spams ranged shit at you and you can't really tell if each of those hits, well, it's either a ranged or a mage hit. Um, the range hits up to a 70. I don't know the max on the mage, but it's obviously not just hard, so you will be praying range. <laughs> in that video with the uh, the mods, oh my god, they use protect mage and like every boss. It was like, oh my god. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, pretty much bring this out up if you're, uh, unless you want to VoIP, I'll go over that soon. Um Ruby Bolts for the first half of the kill, or a Dark Bow, we'll go over that also, uh, and Diamond E for the second half. Now, once people do get Armadil, I guess that will be the proper setup to use Armadil top and bottom. Still with the Varak Helm, because Armor Helm was just a crap item, it's for fucking bots, that's, I swear that's the only thing it's bloody used for. But yeah, this is the Void setup, so this is actually, if you watch it, if you go back a little bit and have a look at the Mage defense, you actually get more Mage defense with this. Now, the range defense doesn't matter, obviously, because you're praying. Uh, you do lose melee defense, so you will get hit by the melee minion. But, I mean, there's only one melee minion. There's two range minions and one mage minion. So, I think this is actually a better setup. I'll probably be, be bringing this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say for a void setup is probably better. You're going to do a lot more damage, obviously, because range, you can't get any strength bonus. So, you get, I think it's 10% more damage or something around that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um... And range accuracy, obviously, is only just accuracy. Now, all in all, the people in Void are definitely going to be winning the free-for-alls, and I would think Void is better, so definitely go with that if you can. Now, for the invents, uh, there is two options you can go with. You can go with the Ruby E setup or the Dark Bow setup. I will explain the Dark Bow setup soon, but pretty much all you need to know now is you don't take range potions pretty much because you're brewing constantly while you're at uh, Armadil. You don't bring sharks because the kill count takes like half an hour to an hour. If bots do get there... It might take longer, I don't know, you might be able to um, leech off bots, I guess, half kill them, let the bots kill the rest, but uh, the armadillo kill count is the worst from what I remember, and I'm pretty sure that's right, so you do want to stay there as long as you can. Don't forget your grapple. The armadillo pendant is so you don't get owned by all the armadillo minions, or you have to pray range constantly, which is just a waste. Uh, bones to peaches, definitely a must. A tab, you don't have to bring a tab, but I'm going to bring be bringing tabs wherever I go, as I always have. Uh, the Brew to Restore Ratio, which is 3 to 1. Now, you can take a Zami item. These are probably your best options. The Zami Vembraces, they, I think they increase your magic defense. You lose melee defense and you lose one ranged accuracy. So, they're a major option for people that don't have barrel grabs. Like, that would be what the go-to item. Because you do actually save a spot if you do that, so you can take an extra Brew. You don't actually need a Zami item, because I usually do my kill count, which I'd recommend, at the start of the Armadillo Encampment, which is... Pretty much as soon as you go in past the grapple, that's the spot you want to be standing. There's only one Gorak there, which is Zami Follower. Uh, you can safe spot it. And if you do go further in, there's a Zami Ranger, I believe. 
If you do do your kill count there, you will need a Zami item. So Zami book or the Zami brown phrases, whatever you want to do. I'm going to get on to the Dark Bow viability now. Now, I'm not sure if many people know about this, but it's actually a really, really good option to take. So I'm just going to go over it quickly. The minimum hit is an 8 and another 8. So this is a 16. If you have five-man team all using Dark Bow specs at the start of the kill, that means you do at least 80 damage and you could do up to 400 going on an average of an 80 max. I know you could hit more, but I mean... Kree has roughly 250 HP. You will get a spec out every kill, unless you're on like a super high spawn rate, but I'm pretty sure you'll still get a spec out every kill. Now, to sum it up between Ruby E and Dark Bow, Ruby E, you can hit a 0 to 50 on the first hit. Now, this is all on the first hit, that 80 damage. You can hit a 0 to a 50 each. In a 5-man team, that could be 0 to 250 damage. I would definitely be using a Dark Bow, just because, I mean, you hit 80. That's a third of its health off. Then you can go to Diamond E and just own. So... Think about it, you could be one hitting the boss with the Dark Bow. I mean, people in Free For All will probably be using Dark Bow. I haven't actually tried it out for ages, obviously. I don't think I'd, I had a Dark Bow back in actually 07 or 08 whenever I used to go at Armadil. Um, it might be super inaccurate, but still, 80 damage on the first hit is that's decent. So yes, this does sadly wrap up the series. I, I love this series, it's pretty fun to make. It's a short series, but uh, I mean, I got to go over all the bosses myself. If you do want to see any other videos, click the respective hilt on the screen now. There will be an annotation link on top of it. And if you are keen, please drop a like because I will be putting out guys ASAP. So if you enjoyed the series, if you're a new sub, if you're whatever, welcome. And if you are going to Armadu, beware. Worlds will be full and I'm going to Armadu. So if I do crash you, I am sorry. I am rightfully sorry, but man, I want to kill that boss. See you guys.